in the Powertrack booth now with Graham Essery, and he's going to talk about a fuel cell charger that sounds really, really intriguing. Tell us about it, Graham. Well, it's a pretty simple system, actually. Uh, fuel cells generate electricity using hydrogen. And <clears throat> I thought this was still science fiction. No, that's here today. We're in the hydrogen liberation business, <laughs> and uh, we choose to liberate hydrogen from good old-fashioned H2O. Right. So we take a little bit of water, not much, a tablespoon, any sort of water containing the letters H2O, we put it in here. Um, so we're putting virtual water in there today. Okay. Um, you close that, you pressurize the water. Now imagine you've got a flexible balloon, a bladder of water, and you squeeze it. That water wants to come out of there. Sure. It's going to come out via this little needle here. That needle goes inside an aluminum can and it acts like a sprinkler. It literally sprays that pressurized water over a chemical, which is a catalyst. And that catalyst, the chemical is called sodium psilocyte. It's not, not rocket science. Sodium psilocyte does one really simple thing. It acts like a desiccant. It takes the liquid H2O, removes the oxygen, and it becomes a solid a mineral called sodium silicate, okay, which right. we use every day That's a in salt, our mouth. Isn't it? Well, it's huh? the polishing agent toothpaste. Oh, okay. If you wash your car, you're liable to have sodium silicate in that stuff called turtle wax. <laughs> I joke because the 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 mineral when we're done here looks like a can of turtle wax. Oh, interesting. I haven't actually tried it on my car yet. Hey, there, hey I'm big into car waxing. I could try it for you. It's there one of my go. hobbies, actually. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> there you go. Um, so. Two, two byproducts of that reaction. One is heat, um, so there's heat. a little heat. Okay. So in the winter, this makes a nice little hand warmer. It's not so hot that you couldn't hold it. It's just it's just a nice, comfortable warmth. Okay. The other byproduct, of course, is hydrogen. The hydrogen comes through this port. The port is here, and that hydrogen, you know, doesn't take a lot of hydrogen. We only have a tablespoon of water that right. we're working with, so we're not producing a ton of hydrogen. But what we're generating by forcing the proton through a membrane in the fuel cell, our fuel cell membrane, uh, so proton goes through, electron goes around, and son of a gun, that's electricity. Um, and it's USB standard 5 volt, 1 amp electricity. Okay, so, so what can we charge with a device of the size? Uh, the thing he has in his hand, we're doing audio also, this is uh, I don't know, maybe four or five inches long and maybe two, three inches thick. Yeah, so, you know, it's roughly the footprint of my iPhone. And, maybe three uh, iPhones thick, something like that? Yeah, something like that. So, Weighs about nine ounces. So, so how much, what can you charge off of one of those? So that process we just talked about makes hydrogen for two or three hours, charges an iPhone in about that time. It actually produces more energy than my iPhone wants. Oh, okay. So, so a full charge, not a lot more, but a full well, charge. Actually, quite a bit more because what happens is uh, we we end up buffering the excess electricity. There's a lithium-ion battery in here. Oh, okay. That is also about the size of an iPhone. The long okay. and the short of it is that you can get two iPhone charges uh, as a result of Fantastic. this process. Fantastic. Yeah. So now, now you sell this canister thing. These little canisters we're looking at here. You sell those, uh, those are the replaceable pieces. Right. And the waste the out of that is just the sodium silicate that right, you said. Right, turtle wax. And then, the, uh, and then the, the lithium ion battery stays with the device, right? right? And, and the fuel cell is here too. So okay. the device itself, you would use over and over again, hundreds of cycles. So how much is this device? 229 MSRP. You're going to see it at 199 at the launch. Um, launches okay. first in the outdoor channel at REI. Oh, cool. Uh, is willing to do a collection program that allows us to re... Uh, uh, re exactly. Oh, cool. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. So then how much are the little canisters? Three for ten dollars. Three for ten bucks. That's not bad. I heard you talking about if there's a typhoon in China or there's, right. there were... I think there were typhoons in Australia just last week. That could be uh, that could be handy. Yeah, or I mean, we, we've had issues on the east coast of the United States where... I, I think I heard about that. It would have been nice after the third or fourth day to be able to get a little power. We, we sit in our car after uh, power outages yeah. and t drain the car battery is right, how we solve it. Big battery, good plan. <laughs> Not exactly the most efficient way. Well, thank you very much. So again, this is the device is called the MyFC Fuel Cell Charger. Yeah, it's called Powertrek. Powertrek is the company yeah. or it's the device? 
Powertrack is the device. My FC is the is the fuel cell company behind Powertrack. I get you. So look for Powertrack on the uh, outdoor channel. And about how yep. soon is that coming out? Be out in April. All right. Thank you very much, Graham. Very, very interesting. You're very welcome.